Hello and welcome back to my channel, Out of the Box. Today I have Raquel Welsh's Human Hair Wig High Fashion. And it's 100% Remy Human Hair. And I can already tell it's very gorgeous. I can also tell a lot of major differences on the cap construction of this Raquel Welsh wig, wig versus my Jean Renault Human Hair Wig. So we are going to dive into that today as well as take a look at this beautiful color. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's a red color that I have never tried before. It is glazed strawberry. So let's get to it. I wanted to do a little unboxing of it earlier today. This is what it looks like as soon as I open the box. And I love the box, by the way. It's very nice. It's it's pretty heavy. When I got the package, I was like, wow, this is heavy. What's in here? Maybe two wigs, two for one. But I didn't get so lucky, but I did get lucky and get a very cool box. This is the first major difference that I noticed between um, Jean Renault and Raquel Welsh. And no offense to Jean Renault, I love Jean Renault. The box though, I think that makes a lot of difference. I'm going to try this baby on and we'll see what we're dealing with here. So before I put this on, I want to show you this gorgeous cap. It has silicone all around it and silicone strips. That The, the wig is completely hand tied. But if you notice these silicone strips, strategically placed. And also we have a complete lace front the lace looks a little long, so I'm going to see when I put it on if I'm going to have to trim it or not, which will be very stressful <laughs> because we're dealing with a very expensive wig, but we'll get through it if I have to do that. So I'm trying not to judge it too much right now, but right away I noticed that this cap is luxury. Um, I can't tell much of a difference between the length of this and Jean Reno's Angie. I think we're dealing with about 15 to 16 inches in total length. It has some nice layers through here. And it's super soft. It is very, very soft. I haven't combed it or parted it or I didn't even shake it yet or remove the tag. So I wanted to, you to see what it looked like as soon as I took it out of there. So first things first, I wanted to show you this lace front. If you can see how long it is. I'm definitely going to have to trim this and I'm very nervous about it. It is still a pretty obvious line. So I just put this on my head and I tried to part it in a few different places. It really feels like it wants to be parted down the middle. I'm not sure if I'll keep it that way but I was really happy to see these nice waves that it has. I guess I'm just not that seasoned in human hair wigs. They probably all come like this. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Beauty Mark Velvet Spray Gel and just kind of scrunch up these waves a little bit. And this stuff is so thick, I like to spray a little bit in my hands and just run it down and then scrunch it up. And it smells so good. So I'm just kind of, kind of bring some of these waves out, more defined. You can also straighten this wig or do anything that you would normally do with your human hair because it's totally safe. Just make sure your tools aren't too hot. I usually keep mine about 310 degrees. That seems to be pretty safe. There goes Jinx, he says hello. And I know I'm jumping around a little on this video, but I was getting ready to trim the lace front when I realized that it goes all the way to the ear taps. So we got a lot of lace here to trim. You can see how long it is. So I'm a little nervous about this, but what I learned about when I trim lace fronts is to just take your time and go little by little. So I just trimmed the lace back a little bit and that was very stressful because I had to go ear to ear and I had to take the wig off of my head to do some of that because it was just too hard to see and it was too hard to see in my hand as well. So if anything so far that was kind of a negative because I don't like to trim lace fronts that much. I just don't like to mess them up or or introducing a possibility of it fraying or anything so I was very careful 
And as I wear it today and the day goes on, I'll be able to look and see spots that I probably need to fix later. So the best way to know if a wig will work for you, I think, is wearing it out into the world. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wear it up to the grocery store and just see how it feels on my head, see if there's any slippage, or if the wind blows, does it want to blow off? You know, all those questions that we have when we first wear a wig out. But this is the best way to know that if a style will work for you is wear it out somewhere. Maybe wear it in front of somebody that sees you all the time. Maybe they will say, hey, I love that hairstyle. You just never know. Um, try to get some feedback maybe a little bit and see how it feels. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'll be back later with an update on high fashion. I feel like I need to be wearing something like extravagant right now with such an extravagant name for a wig, but I'm just me wearing high fashion and I will check in with you later. So I just got back from the store and it is very humid where I live, so it dried pretty fast and the humidity kind of attacked it a little bit, so it seems just a touch frizzy but nothing that I don't think the, the curling iron will manage. Um, as far as the cap, it stayed on pretty good. It wasn't completely comfortable with my glasses though. I think because these ear tabs come all the way down. So this is superb coverage with this wig, but it's a little tricky fitting those sunglasses in there, but it can be done for sure. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my curling iron to it and just add a little bit of more of a polished look to it just to combat that frizziness just a touch. And I'm going to take this all the way around. So I went ahead and I added some big waves to it and immediately it looked like it was in better condition. So just taking a curling iron to it or maybe a straightener, which I think would be beautiful with this style will make it look more polished. So this is definitely more of a polished look than I had before. This is definitely glam and I do like it. Um, how it compares to my John Renault Angie. Okay, I took a video of it in the car earlier and I'm gonna put a video of Angie right beside it so you can see how similar these two styles are. They're similar in length and the layers are very similar. But I have a little bit of trouble with how long the ear tabs are on me. I think this wig fits me a little large, even though I have it cinched in all the way. By the way, I'm a 21 inch circumference. So I think it would definitely stay on better than Angie if a big wind or tornado happened. It does fit me a little larger than the Angie. The hair fibers seem about similar in quality. This color is so beautiful. I just wish there was a little bit of a root to it. And I know I can add a root. So what I tried to do was add a little bit of this uh, brunette dry shampoo down the center and I did not like the way it turned out. It turned out all ashy, which is weird. I think maybe because this is a red color. So I'm going to have to find a better product and maybe add just a touch of a root to it. Light, light, light knots. I don't know if it's just me being paranoid or whatever, but that might be a little bit of a challenge with this color, but this is gorgeous. Let's take a look at this color, Glazed Strawberry Outside. The color code is R29S+. This is a beautiful red color. It is not too red and it's not too light of a red. I would say it's a medium red. And then in that medium red we also have some blonde highlights so what's created here is a true true strawberry blonde color and i think it is absolutely beautiful outside as well as inside i think i'll get a lot of use out of this wig this fall i can't wait to wear it this summer is a little hot and humid for my human hair wigs so i've been going without a lot to give my head a break too is kind of nice. Thank you so much for watching my review today of Raquel Welsh's high fashion wig in the color Glazed Strawberry. Please subscribe to my channel and leave any comments that you like and I will see you back here real soon on Out of the Box.